Hi everyone, this is Alma coming to you from Long Beach, California. Today is Friday, June 24th of the year 2022, and this is going to be floss tube number 82. So as always, I want to welcome you all. Welcome back to all my current viewers and subscribers, and thank you as always for your continuing support. And a special welcome to anyone that's visiting for the first time. I hope that you like what you see, you find a reason to stay, subscribe, and continue to follow me on my stitching journey. Um, I hope that everybody's, you know, doing well. I hope that everybody's staying safe and sound. Everything's good here. Uh, both me and my boyfriend are currently on summer break, and we're both enjoying every last second of it. <laughs> um, I think we're both aware that we won't get a, a, a breather like this for a very long time. So we're both taking full advantage of it. Um, on that note, he started streaming. Um, <laughs> he started streaming and it's just one of those things where, you know, slowly but surely he's building that little mini community. Um, so it's great. So he's currently, he's currently live. So if you hear him talking in the background, I don't think it should come through that much, but just want to have that disclaimer. <laughs> Um, I, on the other hand, have been stitching as much as I can. So, without further ado, let's get to the stitching. And the piece that I'm working on, um, that I'm focusing on so I can get it done, is my Heaven and Earth Designs chart called Mini Midnight Straw by Julie Fain. I started this May 2019, I think. It might have been 2020. I'm not sure. I know it was in May. <laughs> it was one of my mania starts with Tess from Tess Stitches. And I I'm shooting for a finish before July. Or before the end of the July, I should say. But before July could be before the beginning of July. Um, anyway, this is where she's at. <laughs> this is where she's at. The last time I showed her to you, she was at 65,300 stitches. She's now at 71,500. I have 5,500 stitches to go. So considering that I'm averaging 6,000 stitches, um, you know, in a two week span, I believe that by my next regular floss tube update, you will see a finish. <laughs> um, I am, I'm still planning on doing my whip parade. I actually, like this morning I got up and said, I'm gonna f film my whip parade. And then I forgot that it actually takes, you know, a lot of prepping. I can't just sit down and start filming. I There's a lot of notes. There's a lot of just work that needs to get done before I actually film, before I press record. So I was like, well, regular floss do it is. <laughs> um, the whip parade is coming. I'll go ahead and take care of it this week. Um, because it does that that's another thing sometimes it does take me multiple days to film because I do it in both English and Spanish anyway so this piece is definitely going to be um, finished within the next couple of weeks which is super exciting um, so the last time I showed her to you aside for now um, since the last time I showed her to you I have finished just everything pretty much the entire moon really the entire moon is is stitched up i think i have like maybe two colors to go on this pink area right here um and also some of the little um spots that show through on her wings i think those are also going to be they might they might be more purples though it might be actually part of the wings um regardless <laughs> as you can see it's pretty much done she's sitting at almost 92 percent now it's 91 point something something percent which is super exciting super super exciting obviously like now all i have left to do is the wing itself right the wings um and then finish up the sky so um, I'm actually working on the sky right now, mostly because I just wanted to finish, like, I was just going around, 
um, column by column and I wanted to get everything done that way. So I, um, I'm finishing up this little blob that's just the lightest, I think it's DMC 25. It's a super, super light um, lavender, lavender color. So yeah, stitch up the wing, finish up that corner and it's done and dusted. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned for that one. And it'll it'll be my first hate finish. So it, it's not the first hate I started, but it will be the first hate I finish. Um, super exciting. So speaking of finishes, um, one piece that I did focus on as well, put that one to the side for a, a few days, maybe two or three. Um, just focused on this one entirely is the dimensions kit um, the stacked teacups that I've been working on this one I started in February 2020 and I finished it <laughs> so here's another finish for the year um, so again started in February 2020 um, I just used everything that came with the kit so I used the fabric that came with the kit as, as long with with along with the floss, or it's a hard. And um, I originally thought that I would just edit some of those details out. Um, like, do we really need the cup to say dream? Do we really need the cup to say hope? But I just thought it makes a nice, a nice gesture. It's all, it's all good details. Um, and I was using this for the Daily 30 piece, um, for the group Daily 30. So that, that's how I was kind of making steady progress. And then ultimately I just said, I'll just finish it. It's fine. <laughs> so I just kept going until I finished it. And I just finished it like two days ago. If you saw, if you follow me on Instagram, then you have seen the post. Um, so yeah. And I did, I did iron it a little bit. I, just, I need to wash it though, because I got a little bit of stains which I, th I don't think it will be an issue too much because when i um if i want to i frame this it'll just get a mat probably all around the border so it probably won't be too too big of a deal but yeah it's one more finish for 2022 i also finished officially fully finished the um the baby elephant the blowing bubbles uh, pattern that i showed you I think last video or maybe the video before that um i adapted the pattern to um to be able to add words i essentially made it a birth sampler so that was the whole purpose of the of the uh, whip and the baby was born uh, a couple of weeks ago last actually last week i think it was Anyway, so I was given all the details, all that personal information. So I was able to finally just add that information and then I, I washed and ironed the piece and framed it. So it's ready to be given as the present to, to the new parents. <laughs> um, besides that, I haven't really stitched on anything else. Again, just fully focused on um, the fairy right now. My new... Um, my new daily 30 piece for right now is uh, one that I haven't stitched on all year. More on that later. <laughs> um, it, and I picked out my Disney villains from uh, Zana Cross Stitch. So this one was one of the pieces that I, st I started it last year, I think. No, the year before that, um, Magical Stitches did a Disney, um, read a Disney, uh, it was, it must have been the year before that then, because last year I think we did Percy Jackson. Um, they did a series that's, you know, inspired by some of the Disney villains, so I thought, oh, I can just, you know, stitch along as we go along with the books and do, because um, pretty much all, all these four ladies have a book that's dedicated to them. Um, but ultimately, of course, that goal didn't come to pass. I was gonna say, okay, maybe one villain per year. That didn't go well either, because I started this in February of that year. So, 
this is where, this is where we're at right now. Um, I finished the Evil Queen from Snow White, and I'm currently working on Ursula. So I'll use this for my daily thirty for at least you know this week, so she can get some some work done. Um. So a friend of mine is, uh, does this this challenge where she picks some categories each month um and then we pick whips to go along with the category and so we have to we just have to stitch on them um one of the categories for june was to pick uh to stitch on something that we haven't stitched on uh, all year in 2022 so i thought okay i'll just i'll just stitch on this one it's just one of those things i was just inspired <laughs> i was just inspired to, to pick this one up uh, I still have to work on my other one more category for June, which is to work on something that was a sal. For that one, I wanted to work on uh, my Medusa kit from Unconventional Cross Stitch. Uh, I know that there's several of us that are stitching on her, so so I just you know that fulfilled that category. Um, so that's coming up. So again, I may work on her for a week. And then next, or just throughout the week, I guess I may just work on, on Medusa and just that maybe the minimum we have to do for each category is 200 stitches. So I might just do the minimum, <laughs> call it done, and then move on and, and just go back to go back to the fairy. Because I really, really, really want to see her finished. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's so that's all the stitching um, that I've done so far. Um, I do have some some new goodies to show you. Again, thank you, Laurel, for it. Um, it's mostly kits. It's things that um, she has either stitched and you know is um, passing it along, or it's just things that she thought she was going to stitch and just for one reason or another decided, you know, she just changed her mind. Um, this the first one is one. It's a sampler called uh, Joy Joy in the Journey. It's a jamming cross stitch kit, and um, actually, just it looks like it just came with with the chart it includes chart and instructions. Um, but she stitched her this words. She stitched this herself. Um, she just passed it along to me. This was actually something that she stitched for her birthday style. Um, I started. This was when I started the three things sampler because she stitched she's stitching on it as well so um so now i get to stitch join to the journey so i'm really excited and then she also passed along a couple of kits she passed along this busila buchila busila i'm never sure how to pronounce that i've always i always think it's buchila but i'm not, i don't know could be wrong anyway this is leap of faith which I think what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and stitch the feathers, but I'll change the font. I want something more, more cursive. I don't like that those because a lot of the letters have like sharp edges. And I don't know. I may just go ahead and do a different font, but keep everything else because I do like the details on the feathers. Another kit that she de-stashed is this um, Dimensions Gold Collection. You know, me, you know, the stacked teacups is a gold collection kit. So um, I took this one, Fanciful Butterfly, which I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the chart, but in the picture, it looks like actually no, that might just be backstitch. But it looks like it's two separate things like the frame is stitched separately from the butterfly i'll have to look at the pattern but if that's the case i'm trying to work with the glare if that's the case i may just edit it so i just stitch everything in one one piece of fabric because um, the this acts as a frame itself so uh, but yeah it's really pretty i thought this would be this would be a cute stitch and she also did away with this kit, the governor kit, um, Delilah, Delilah, Dahlia, <laughs> I can read, <laughs> um, which again I thought was cute. 
You know me and my full coverage. I apparently can't live without it. it just makes my life harder though, sometimes. Um, and she also destashed this Janlin chart. It's called Oriental Kimono by Barbara Batts Hillman. And I just fell in love with the details. I loved those, those colors, the background colors and the butterflies. I thought it was really pretty. So I said, yes, please. So I'll, I'll probably stitch that up as well. And another chart that she let me have is this one by Barbara and Cheryl, or at least that's the name of the company. This is called South Battery View. And it's like a gazebo garden with a building next to it. Which again, I thought was really pretty. Another full coverage, you know. What a shocker. <laughs> and uh, she also um, forwarded me the His Eyes on the Sparrow. So it is the hard copy though. So no picture to go along with this one, but I mean, I'm sure you've all seen the sampler. Um, I do have the companion piece, the Consider the Lilies piece. So I thought, you know, it'd be nice to have the pair. Um, and yeah, she gave me a couple more, but can't, I don't know where I put those. <laughs> um, so thank you, Laurel. Um, I'll be looking forward to stitching on those. Uh, and yeah. I, as I mentioned, I do I do plan on on filming the the whip parade this week. It's just a multi-step process, and I just I keep forgetting that it takes time to even prepare to film. So I'll probably get started on that today, um, so I can film so I can start filming next week. And yeah, um, for next month. <laughs> Considering that um, the fairy is going to be finished um, early in the month, I think I'm going to just do some catch up on some of my whips. Um, Sammy's from Sammy's J Stitches when she does her cat, the one that does, I don't know if I mentioned her by name, but she's the one that does the, the categories that I mentioned. Um, we're also doing um, an unofficial style where we all chose a whip that we wanted to finish by the end of the year broke it up into 12 pieces or 12 parts again it could be an actual 12 part style or just the pattern that you want to break up into 12 pieces um and you know we're supposed to stitch one section a month but i haven't done i haven't done that <laughs> i haven't worked on i think since april i'll have to double check but yeah i don't think i've done april or may or june so i'm a little behind um, so I may just catch up on that, or at least do, maybe what I'll do is I'll just do two parts every month until I, you know, I get caught up. Um, but yeah, besides that, um, she did pull out the categories for this month. Um, we are doing a pattern that is PDF, which, you know, I have the pick of the litter because <laughs> pretty much all of my patterns are no, well, most of my patterns are, are PDF. We have to stitch on something that is a medium-sized pattern. And then we get, a, we get a choice. The third category was just stitcher's choice. And then we have to pick on, or stitch on something that's a style. So I may just go ahead and use the, the one that I, that I just talked about for that category. And I forget what the fifth one is. So I'll try to keep up with that this month because um, what I've been doing the last couple of months is just doing the minimum, 200 stitch minimum um, for the categories and just go back to the fairy. Just all, and one of the, um, for one of the cate categories I am using the, the fairy. <laughs> so she gets most of the work done. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all I can, I have to share with you all today. If you have any questions about anything that you saw today, feel free to leave a comment. As far as the gifted um, patterns, some of them I can, you know, heartstring, heartstring stamp blurry patterns are pretty easily found. 
obviously the ones like the kits you know i wouldn't i wouldn't be able to tell you <laughs> where she got them um but you know some of them are pretty easy to find but yeah anything else leave a comment below I'll be happy to um to look at them and hopefully respond sometimes i'll you know answer questions on like on video as opposed to answering the comments um but yeah, as always, I hope you have a relaxing weekend, a productive week, and you always find the time to do the thing that makes you happy. Until next time, ciao!